The biggest question that will ever be answered is the question, which way to heaven? The most important decision that anybody will ever make is the decision that they make regarding their eternal destiny. Life here, says the Bible, is a vapor that appears for a little time and vanishes away. It is like steam off a cup of coffee, nothing more compared to eternity. Everyone will live somewhere forever without end. Where you live forever is absolutely critical. There are two options, hell and eternal punishment, or heaven and eternal joy. The question then is, which way to heaven? Matthew 7, 13 and 14, here are the words of Jesus. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and many are those who enter by it. For the gate is small, and the way is narrow that leads to life, and few are those who find it. There's only one narrow gate. You must enter this gate. It is a definite gate. It is the narrow gate. The Old Testament talks about ways that seem right to a man that are the ways of death. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus says, I am the door. If any man tries to come in any other way, he is a thief and a robber. In Acts 4.12 it says there is no salvation in any other name, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There is only one way to be saved, there is only one person who is the Savior, and faith in that person is required for salvation. Listen to 1 Timothy 2.5, there is one God, one mediator also between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. No other mediator, no other savior, no other way. Faith, saving faith, demands, Romans 10.17 says, hearing with faith the message of Christ. Faith comes by hearing the message concerning Christ. Christ and Christ alone is the gate. No Christ, no salvation. No Christ, no heaven. This is the word of the living God. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ savingly and you enter. You do not and you will not enter. There is no other way in. All other ways, though marked heaven, end up in hell. Any deviation from the person of Jesus Christ, the work of Jesus Christ, or the gospel of Jesus Christ by faith and grace alone will lead you to hell. You must enter. You must make a commitment to come to Christ, and this is the only way. Verse 13 begins with a command, enter by the narrow gate. It is an absolute command given by Jesus Christ, enter the narrow gate. The gospel itself is a command, repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel always comes as a command to be obeyed or disobeyed. It is not enough to listen to preaching about the narrow gate. It is not enough to study the narrow gate, to admire the structure of the narrow gate, to admire the wisdom of gospel means. It must be entered. And the world is full of people who admire the gospel. They admire, if you will, the narrow gate. They admire the work of Christ on the cross and even admire the work accomplished in his conquering death in his 
resurrection and they admire the ethics of Jesus and they admire the virtues of Jesus and a lot of those things. But hell is going to be literally filled with people who admired Jesus. Who admired his teaching and his ethics and who maybe particularly admired the Sermon on the Mount. You must enter. You must go beyond the admiration of the gospel. You must go beyond being fascinated with the work of Jesus Christ and admiring him. You must enter the gate of salvation through faith in him.